welcome to kusum.net this is asp.net mvc tutorial and you are watching part 65 deleting multiple rows in asp.net mvc in this tutorial you will learn how to delete multiple rows using checkboxes okay so before watching this video please watch my parts part 62 63 and 64 To delete the multiple rows we have to use this delete matter code and to display the view page we require this index method okay and i we will create one share one folder inside of the share folder and inside of that we will create one view page to use this functionality of the model editor model and in the inside of index view we will use that Cool. Okay, let's flip to the Visual Studio and check. Okay, so this is my table, customer table, and I have created one data entity model and data, data, data entity model inside the, this models folder, and it looks like this for customer table. Okay, so now create code for controller side. So I have created this for index view side to display the index view page uh, and data of all the records for the table now i will use a code to delete the records okay for that i will use http post method okay and public action result name of the method will be delete inside of that we will pass we have to delete all the records but using id so for that what we will do we will add some parameters okay to add some parameters inside of this we will use id so integer id okay and you can see here this code controller side code i have used this id for i enable integer because in, inside of the view side we have used i enable body so for this data type i will use i enumerable to display all the records i enumerable type of integer and we'll get the records from there so this id parameter using i enumerable integer data type i am use okay now i will create all the records using the this variable so variable list equal to db this db is come from here and it is created from this data entity model okay this is this entity is inside of this context.css.cs and this db object created from that entity is now create a variable for the list of customers so variable list equal to db dot customers dot where such that x dot this parameter where this id will delete the record for that checkbox so x dot id where x dot id contains Real ID of the table. So x dot customer ID 
is the real ID. Okay, that ID and this parameter ID will be match. If match, then pass the list. Okay, for that dot to list. This is the list object to display all the or uh, to get all the records from the table. Okay. Now for single record in single checkbox, I have to delete the record. Every record. Okay. So for each for each from customer table. Suppose C A list. Okay. From this list, select such record to delete. For so I have used this for each loop, and inside of the DB dot customers dot remove that record, that such record. Okay, dot remove this the object C. Okay, so remove only that record whichever the check box check, and DB dot save changes. Complete. Okay, and after that, you will return to the index view page. So return redirect to action index page. Okay, so index page. Okay. So my delete method is completed now to delete the record using checkboxes. And now I will go to this shared folder. Inside of you, when I create MVC application, empty MVC application, there will not be shared folder. So I will create inside of the view shared folder. This is my shared folder. And inside of that shared folder, I will use one another subfolder editor templates. Inside of this editor template, I will create one view that will render to any page. For that, I will use this customer name and empty without model. I will create. Okay. So this is my view in the share folders, editor templates, and will use for view. I will delete all this. Okay and return only whatever I want to display so use at the rate model and the name of application web application to dot models dot customer means use the customer model and display the row this tr th so td right and inside of first td i will use the checkbox to display okay for that input type equal to checkbox okay use the id same as per controller ID. name equal to do something and value equal to nothing no value equal to we will do add something so for value the value will be come from the model so at the rate model dot customer ID value will be come from this ID of the table and the ID and the name of this checkbox will be from this home controllers parameter in the parameter I have passed this ID so I will use that same here so the application will use this ID to delete the records particular and this ID will match this customer ID give the name same ID okay uh, another two fields 2D 
field is suppose I want to display the name and gender from the table and presently inside of my model there is name field gender field okay so we'll write here at the rate model I will access these fields I can access all the fields no problem but I want to access such fields so I use this model dot gender and name property okay so this code is finished here and I will use this code inside of the view page as an editor model so let's go to this index view first create the index view right click on this index method and view index employee button this okay uh, this editor at html dot editor for model will get the records from this customer view okay and i have added this delete button okay to delete the checkboxes record okay now just uh, run and see what gonna happen Okay, guys, uh, this is my view page now generated, and this is the checkboxes to delete the records. If I check this row and click on this delete button, it will delete it, right? So, this is my end of video session. Thank you for listening my video. If you like this video, please subscribe it, share it, and like it. Thank you. Have a great day.